no flavorings no, no colors flavors. no preservatives no egg no gelatin everything is made here from scratch we make our own caramels we make our own nut butters we make our own nutella so there is nothing that comes out of a bottle or a jar yes yeah. all real ingredients all real ingredients I like this line here. Menu so fresh that it can't be printed. So guys, it's on 15 minutes only. Ready, I got it. Mane li na ni ne no mart tar thini. Nan gya kit mart bar don sate. Bon sari mart thivi. Ah. Chena gida an sathre munde ok thivi. Finally, haake takshna me. That gelato immediately runs all over your mouth, uh, making friends with your palate. Hi, folks. This is Kripal Amana, gourmet on the road, and you're watching Food Lovers TV. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe and strong. It's a bit cloudy today, but we're actually in the midst of peak summer here in Namma Bengaluru. So I've been on the hunt for things refreshing. Juices, milkshakes, and even ice creams. And we are in RMB Second Stage today. But I've heard of this ice cream shop that makes ice creams only with natural ingredients, and that too handmade. Let's go. Hello. Namaskara. Namaskara. I've heard a lot about. Chun, and are you the couple behind it? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, and what are your names? Harsha Radha Krishna. Okay. Varni. So you're the ice cream people. Yes. Uh, so over a period of time, and you know that we take some time before we get to a place with our research or call it due diligence, etc. We heard much about the fact that you're very particular about creating these handmade ice creams. Using only natural ingredients. Absolutely. No flavorings, no, no colors, no preservatives, no egg, no gelatin, nothing. Wonderful. Everything is made here from scratch. That is the reason these are artisan ice creams. We make our own caramels. We make our own nut butters. We make our own Nutella, which you call as jondia. Ah, so there is nothing that comes out of a bottle or a jar. Yes. Yeah. And how long have you been here? This is our sixth year now. Sixth year. Yeah. More of Bengaluru needs to know about Chern, but I think they've also hidden themselves in this place here in RMB Second Stage. And how did this journey happen of ice creams, of doing ice creams this way? Basically, we saw this machine, this churner. 2016, when we saw this in an exhibition in Bengaluru. In Bengaluru. Okay. Yeah. Then we started the journey. And your background is not ice creams. No. no. I am into IT. And you still in IT? I am still in IT. Okay. And what about you, Vani? I am a dietitian. You are a dietitian, and now you are feeding people ice creams. <laughs> huh? we, we will tell you about what the quality is. Then you will come to know. Wonderful. <laughs> so that's how it began. Then okay. I went to Italy, learned art of making it. Okay. Came down. Then we made our flavors here in India because the milk is different that you get in Europe. The cream is different that you get in Europe. Fruits also. Everything is different. So we had to come here. Converted it into Indian version. From what I see out here, these are not your typical ice creams. These are more like gelatos. These so. are real, authentic gelatos the way you get in Italy. Gelatos are more of milk, more less milk. of cream. Less Gelato of cream. means. to freeze all real ingredients all real ingredients they are served at minus 12 to 14 degrees and not at minus 18 to 20 degrees like your normal, normal frozen ice creams yeah. or desserts and i think that also has to do in a certain way with the density also right yes. because your gelatos are thicker yes. than ice cream because i think ice cream tend to accumulate oh. more, more air, air yes and i guess also because of the fact that it has a higher cream content absolutely and the other way that you will always make out a gelato from an ice cream is that you will never scoop a gelato out no nah. you will always dig spade into it. it so you will always spade into it so therefore if you look each one has a spade in it Today the flavors are dark chocolate with roasted almonds, uh, jonduya, which uh, everybody know as nutella. This uh, is not your store bought nutella. So the nutella you make we it. We make hazelnut? we make chocolate. jonduya, hazelnut with chocolate is jonduya. Jonduya. And this is apple pie. So, apple pie. Yeah, this is apple with apple. cinnamon. Those are Indian apples. Whenever we get our Shimla apple or Delhi apple, is when that is made. 
So, so your this menu is, is the very last seasonal. batches. Yeah, absolutely. These are another one batches there. That's all over. Okay. After that, you will not get it. Apple. Oh, wood apple. So, bail and no. The way we you do drink it. Here during Ram Navmi. So, oh. it is made in the same way. This is called as a sorbet. sorbet. No milk, no cream in it. Vegan. It is fruit, water, sugar. Which in this is? case, no sugar. It is made with jaggery. With jaggery. This is fresh strawberries. Okay. Seasonal. Another two weeks. Ah. After that, you won't yeah. get it. These are blackberries. So these obviously are frozen. These are frozen. Okay. Blackberry, raspberry, blueberry. These are all frozen, which comes from US. This is cashew nut. So we make around six to seven nuts. We make our own nut butters. Cashew nut butter, almond butter, peanut butter. So you make the cashew nut butter that. Gets churned gets with the milk, with the milk, and that's what results in the yes. cashew nut ice cream. Yes. So this is gulkan, rose flower. <laughs> rose flower. We get gulkan from Indore. From Indore. So non-colored. These are export quality, non-colored. So you, it is not uh, violet in color. Because obviously, I think when the rose dries, it doesn't have that color. Color. Yes. color? Yes. This is we make our own no, homemade brownies. So that goes Egg into our ice cream. Eggless brownies. So do you make the brownies? I make. So I he make. goes to work every day. Both of you went and saw the ice cream machine together. Yeah. Machines we saw. And then he went for training. Yeah. And then he came back and trained you. Yeah. And he said, now manage the shop. Absolutely. <laughs> that. <laughs> he learned this. We converted into Indian version. Jackfruit only single. Ah. This mission all money lift from the one year now. Ah. That yes to jackfruit talk that aroma garate. Ah. Sweet coming. I thought that texture better. You know garate. So summer R and D ho gaye the. Ah. Almost six to seven months we were doing it at home. So this is black grape, not the seedless variety. This is with seed one. Okay. So you will get both the sweet and sourness in the fruit. Ah. Paneer. Do you boil the grape to extract the sweetness? Oh, so it it kind of takes me back to the traditional grape drink that you would get yes. in these age old establishments. Establishments, right? Mawali ke kundu modre, or you go to Urpi Sri Krishna Bhavan. Oh, wonderful! I like this line here. Menu so fresh that it can be printed. Every day change. Every day change. Huh? Every flavour smart thing. Huh? Chocolate nutella, everybody's favourite. That is. And that is all year. So amuru irate, every day irate. Okay. Other than that. Seasonal lo matte nuts ella helled rala. We make seven nuts. Nuts change up thay rata. Any one caramel rata. Dalsi dalachi, salted caramel. So this is hundred rupees for a serving. Hundred per cup. Some are hundred and thirty. Okay, depending on what. Depending on the ingredient that goes. So there's no, there's absolutely no essence, no extract, nothing. It's pure. Nothing. Ingredient. Absolutely. Pure fruit. Absolutely. Fantastic. Can we take a look at the making of? Absolutely. Always nice to see what goes into creating those delectable ice creams, those gelatos that I see up front. Even your toppings here are all very earthy, huh? So I can see some cashew there, almonds there. Cashews, hand-cut almonds. We want this big bone leaf. Fresh madaka do idhar le. Fresh madaka you get powder also. Correct, but cheaper also. So he does not want that. Or idhar bhaku idhar ne fresh madaka re. But to being a weekend, we do tender coconut ice creams. Okay. So tender coconut again, we need milk. Okay. So for making the milk, we make our own coconut milk. Oh, so you don't even buy a coconut milk in a tetra pack? No tetra packs. Nothing manufactured gets into this shop because everything will have either preservatives or something or the other added into it. Ah. So in a manner of speaking, this approach of yours necessitates a lot more work. Yes. Right, the easy thing for you would be to just call the supermarket and ask them to supply you yeah. one of those coconut milk. It is now ground grounded. I made a machine for it to squeeze out the milk. Blouse of condor in mat thai jyada na. Kya hi na? Bhaiya. So then he said, so you know, now the R&D maadi. We bought some N N B ko dalle. Tago ndu welding shop kogi. He made one small machine. So now we can extract easily. So this is our pasteurizer where the milk is. Uh, so cream, sugar, everything goes into this. It's pasteurized to 85 degrees. Okay. Then cool down. Everything is done, and this is the base that comes out. The base milk. It's okay. Milk, sugar, cream, everything mixed together. Oh, it's all there it in there. To a certain extent of sugary, it is sweet. Two, three days. Okay. Once we keep doing it. So the base is basically a combination of the milk of the cream. And the sugar, sugar to a certain extent minus the natural ingredient. If I want to make strawberry, I will take this milk. I add strawberries into that, blend it. 
So the one question that I'm sure a lot of the health conscious people and since you're also a dietitian, they will ask is what is the amount of uh, fat in these ice creams, in your gelatos? I am less than 7%. My cup contains 9 grams of sugar which has been tested. 9 grams of sugar? Yes. Per cup, per yeah. serving? 114 calories, the fruit flavor and okay. the chocolate flavor which has the highest content of fat of the chocolate and all is 128 calories per cup. 128 calories per cup. So this is basically the hazel hazelnut and chocolate. R and D. R and D, madi madi. One sari madri flavor ashton dance lilla matte madri. So the reason why you're making your own is because you don't want any of the other things that go into a store bought. Correct. Nutella. No, no palm oil. No, no compound chocolates in it. So. Here the quality I maintain. So what chocolate goes into this? These are Coventure chocolates. Coventure, yeah. So these are Calibu? Calibu. Yeah. I can definitely taste the extreme nuttiness of the hazelnut. And also it's grainy, Allah. So why is it grainy? Sugar is now grinder. So it is again, I don't get sugar powder from outside which will contain silica. So therefore, unlike a commercial Nutella, which will be a lot smoother. Yes. Even if it is grainy, it will get added into the milk. Mm. So it will naturally melt down. Lovely. I love the deep nuttiness of that. And what is that? This is, this is our caramel. And this obviously is going into the making of? The salted, salted caramel ice cream. Ah. That flavor. Of burnt sugar. <laughs> Allah? Yeah. Chaco butterscotch martini. Oh, I think butterscotch now a martini. So, all this you're making yourself. That really explains, tells you of their commitment to what they're doing. This is what? Pistachio. That aroma. That depends <laughs> on the roasting. So you do roast maadi? Roast it and ground it. How much ever we can take out the peel, we take out and grind maadi. So avaka it comes to this consistency. So there is nothing added to this. This is 100% pista. This is 100% pista. Pista is not a good thing, you will get pista green. This is pista green, right? See this color. This is a natural pista color. Yes. Coat myself some pista butter. Mmm. Naale ki ke? <laughs> I'm scared now to open my mouth because I'm sure my teeth, my tongue have all been stained. But this pista is so dense that it has just gripped hold of my teeth, of my tongue, of my palate. Now what I'm really tasting here is the very concentrated nuttiness. The character of the pistachio, there's no sweetener, nothing in that. Nothing. It's just the completely natural, purest extract yes. of the pistachio. Yes. This is the base. Plain that this. is the base. It only salt for vanilla hakiti waste. If I want to make vanilla ice cream, again vanilla add mm. madhe. Vanilla kuda ice na wo essence alla. Vanilla extract add madhe. Uh, I can definitely taste a bit of the vanilla. Salt thickened milk. Yes. Hmm. Sweetness kuda hada hai the. Yes. It's not too sweet. How is it? Okay. So what are we making now? Salted caramel. Salted caramel gelato. Wonderful. Salted caramel I am adding salt. So I am going to blend it with the churner. So first uh, hand hmm. okay. Then, blender Oh okay. So when you first opened the shop, how many flavors did you have? 50, 60 to Matili and Andre, customers bandaga, or health the app mad bardunta during COVID now, Kashaya no is or better madi. So now this is the base with the caramel. Caramel. The salted caramel. So now this will go into your churner. Churner. It is always, it has to be aged. 
It is not that I do the base today and it has to be used today. I like the way she is making sure that she scrapes every bit of that very <laughs> precious mix uh, with the salted caramel. So, oh, that's interesting. So, the base is aged. How many days do you typically age it? 24 hours. Okay. The milk will start absorbing the flavors out over there. Wonderful. Stabilizer we add to that. That is plant extract again. Wonderful. Milk packet ni fridge a litre no. Ah. Freezer a litre in agate. I see, I see agate. Ah, wow. agate. Even though it is milk, fat, everything is there. Flake agate. Ah. Ag bar do andre. Gum hak peko. Gum hak peko. So, this plant, is a plant, plant extract. extract. Plant extract. Yesterday night, I, we emptied the chocolate. I had to make it because chocolate, Nutella, Gulkan cannot get over here. Every day, Fancy I have customers who eat. I have customers who eat only Gulkan. So, I know what I'm going to taste. I'm definitely going to be tasting the ice cream that we are making there. I think nothing like eating it fresh. Is there a shelf life to these ice creams? Yeah, maximum one week. One week. Then, what else should I taste? You have to test everything yeah. here so that you can... That is when you will come to know what, what is the difference. Well, the problem is you have too many ice creams for me to taste. That's huh? the beauty of it. We will give them one taste. Oh, really? Two taste, then they will say, yeah, this is good, we will go with it. I said, you are not, you are deciding too fast. Then two more flavors. Oh, so people can do taste us? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I do know more? that. Then maybe the whole store. <laughs> That is when they shift parties. Three nali nimge ice cream sikhte dure. Ya ke no head bhai ko. So I think we've seen all the preparation of the ice cream. I think now it's time to do some tasting. Which is the lightest, lightest flavor that we can taste then first? Fruits. Idu ban bitu apple and cinnamon. Apple and cinnamon. Apple pie maad bhai kadre a stuffing ei no gato. Aduna base ali mix maad bitu maadi rakho. And idu strawberry. Strawberry. It's caramelized. Mm, brown sugar, caramelized mm. Caramelized. Mm. Caramelized. 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 No, that is the whole reason behind serving it at minus 12 to 40. Ah. So when it is an ice cream, it is hard frozen. Correct. But gelatos are not like that. Because since natural ingredient goes into it, you need to have it in your mouth. Finally, hake takshnave. That gelato immediately runs all over your mouth. Uh, making friends with your palate. So you get that natural flavor of the strawberry and then it disappears. Not, not sugary. Not sugary None at all. None of our ice creams are mm. very sugary. Wood apple. Wood apple, yeah. sorbet. Blackberry. I've never looked at bale in any sort of frozen dessert or an ice cream or a gelato before. So how did you hit upon this idea of doing a bale? Maneli nani neno martaartini. I think I should get to that uh, wood apple in a hurry because this is also a sorbet. Melt. So it's ready to melt. Mm. So the huli is there. All the sorbets will be huli. Watermelon, muskmelon, matra, solpa, sweet as well. We make kiwi like this. We make kiwi. Chocolate sorbet no matter. Ah. Next, blackberry. Melt dark there. there. There is a sweetness. So much is there. Change is there. You can calculate it. Uh. Strawberry will come here. If you eat this gulkan, it is already jam. There is sugar in there. That base now already made. There is a mix of sugar in there. This is cashew nut. This is Nutella. Wonderful. I'm a big fan of your nut butters. I can taste the intense flavor of some toasted cashew. Yes. Hmm? Wonderful. Roast maado mele hoga the aroma. Ah, and this is Nutella. Nutella. Very nutty, chocolatey. Bitter ro irate, hmm. not so sweet. A bit creamy. Idrali when I taste the Nutella. Avaga, I could taste sulfa gari gari. Idrali illa. This is very smooth. Milk jotege mix up bidatala. Dissolve up bidatala. Ah, wonderful. 
This is mocha, chocolate and coffee. This is in-house brownie. So we're moving now. We're moving from the nuts to something a little more deeper in its flavors, the chocolate and also the coffee. If you had espresso, perhaps an Americano in a gelato, that's exactly what it would taste like. And this is your chocolate brownie. So you make the brownie for we this. We make our own homemade brownies. Uh, Eggless, 100%. 100%. So are you vegetarians? Yes. I thought I'll taste them all and then decide which one I like the best. But I think what's interesting here is that every gelato tugs on your taste buds in a different direction, right? So when it was the wood apple, I could taste that puckering sourness. In the cashew, I could taste the nuttiness. In the last two that I tasted, I can definitely taste the heady flavors of coffee and some chocolate. The brownie also has a bit of texture that it lends to the bite. Blackberry, that I found a little sweeter. Fruit is sulpa sweeter. Fruit is sulpa sweeter. And that also comes in a frozen form. Yeah, frozen. And the strawberry too was rather gentle. What I really liked about your fruit flavors is the moment you place it in your mouth, because it's creamy, because it's not too cold, it immediately opens up to your taste buds and also very quickly disappears too. Yeah. Right? Making you want to reach for the next spoon, I suppose. Huh? <laughs> Grape. Gulkan. I definitely wanted to taste because of the fact that you boil the grape first. Yes. And I think when you boil the grape, it also reduces its tannins. Yeah. That is paneer drakshi, we call it here. This is a bit of a sweet. The sour of the seedless that does not contain that flavor. Wonderful. It's very classic, very traditional. I think I'm going to lose the gulkan very soon. <laughs> This is intense. There's a bit of the bite of the gulkan yeah. and also sweet because I think that sweetness also has to balance with the rose. Huh? Mm -hmm. So is that ready? Yes. Almost 80% oh. is done. We will make fudge. It's very hard. So we will three scoops of chocolate sauce. Oh, okay. And then nuts. If you want almond, then almond fudge. Cashew and cashew fudge. And we definitely need to taste that salted caramel because that ice cream is now ready. This is as fresh as ice cream can get. Do you guys like ice creams? Uh? I won't eat that much. Uh, what about Arsha? Arsha likes chocolate. Yeah. Whenever he craves. I guess when you're surrounded by ice cream all the time and you're making Mice. it day in and day out. My son likes it. Oh, your son loves ice cream. Yeah. The flavor of that burnt sugar with that slight bitter edge cutting through the natural sweetness of the sugar and the creaminess, huh? which is a function of the base and also the cream. Wonderful. This yeah. is vanilla. Every day, because we pour hot chocolate on that, right? Ah. So, the temperature frozen this is a natural vanilla, a little more potent in its flavors as opposed to the base that yeah. I tasted. Nice. Mm. Super is there. I think now I should sit down here and taste my ice creams quietly. You give me now uh, two cups with four flavors, the small cups. Chocolate with nuts, chocolate with brownie. Did I taste the one with nuts? Nuts first, but try again. That's my strategy actually. Yeah, that's the one with nuts. Did I taste the one with nuts? Yeah, it's the first one. So which is your more intense dark chocolate does the more intense? No, both are same. No, it's intense. Brownie only, again you have chocolate, right? So I'll have a little bit of that. Adhroti gain kodhi dhara, caramel. Brownie and caramel goes good, Allah. And then you give me two which are fruity or. Actually, one do cashew kodhi, second nalli, but one do fruity kodhi or. Oh, 
थैंक यू वेरी मच कैरमल विद ब्राउनी कैरमल विद ब्राउनी Cashew nut with strawberry. Cashew nut with strawberry. Well, four ice creams that I can spend some time with, that I can linger over. Here at Churn Ice Creams. I was warned that the salted caramel is what will melt first, so we're going to make a stab at that. Mm. I love the mouth feel of these gelatos. I think every gelato that I tasted here, the moment you place it in your mouth, all the flavors within that gelato want to meet your taste buds in a hurry. I think it's also got to do with the temperature at which this ice cream, which is a gelato, is served at. Because it's not too cold, the flavors are quite expressive the moment you place that spoon inside your mouth. I love that salted edge, the flavor of the burnt caramel. The slight bitterness that cuts against the sweetness. There's not too much of the Himalayan pink salt that went into its making, but that salt certainly leaves an impression. And the salt that completes the flavors of this burnt caramel gelato. Fruit seller, customers huh. are thought that in the tando, other huh. ice cream marts come to talk on doctor. Really? Huh. So people can do One that. One very whiskey no madi da. Yar, also she gave whiskey, chocolate cake mart bito, other le whiskey hack bito. आमले चॉकलेट आइसक्रीम जो तेरे विक्स विस्की मिक्स मार दूँगा अद एक्चुअली एंटी फ्रीजिंग हो एंटी फ्रीजिंग हाँ विस्की मतलब शुगर अवेला सो समाउ वी मैनेज दे फेल्ड वेरी हैप्पी रेव्यूस अलग लाख पौने दर रियली वाव एंड आई थिंक दैट इज़ अ ब्यूटीफुल थिंग आउट हियर बिकॉज़ I think you will definitely like from the smorgasbord of flavors that they have here. But if there is something that you want to your liking, I'm sure you give Vani some time, she'll also customize that yeah. for you. Huh? <laughs> Wonderful. I think I'm going to get back to my salted caramel. And that salted caramel is now slowly mixing with that chocolate brownie. You know what's surprising, Illy? Although the butter is less, the cream is less in a gelato compared to a rich ice cream. It still feels very creamy, yes. Allah. Mate, nimge heavy ansala. Mm. Two scoops tindre no, you won't feel heavy. Mm. Cream kammi rathinda. I love the manner in which the dark chocolate in that gelato and as well as the brownie. Seventy percent dark chocolate. Allah. This is seventy percent dark chocolate, and this is Belgian chocolate. Belgian chocolate. I have brown and flax seeds because I won't use egg gala, so I have flax seeds. I have to eat the egg gala, so I have to eat the egg gala. So I have to eat the egg gala. Now the texture is a priority. I have to eat the egg gala, so I have to eat the egg gala. I don't want to add it. It's wonderful. But I can tell you, although she sounds very strict when she says that, but the flavors that I am tasting, Another salt that definitely hit home. I'm also liking this combination of the salted caramel and chocolate. As the kelo sathi held the rala, they say, right, a match made in heaven. The salted caramel and chocolate. First, I'm tasting slightly salty caramel, then that rich, intense, dark flavors of the chocolate kick in. And I think because of the fact that you flaxseed the hakti rap. So, this is the nuttiness of the nutty. Slight bitterness. Bitterness is chocolate. It is super fine powder. Flax seeds. What is it? If you eat it, it will be nutrients. Correct. So, you don't want to eat it too much. So, I don't want to do that. Delicious. Just enjoying it so much. I can actually finish it all, but I want to also pay some attention to that cashew and strawberry. That is still somehow Trying to maintain its distinctly separate identities, although it's precariously juxtaposed against each other. I think next I should taste probably the strawberry, Allah, so what? Yes. To cut the flavor of that chocolate and the salted caramel. In on two months, Admele, you want the strawberry, be konta, you will not get strawberry. Will not get. In a jackfruit, lychee, mango. 
Again, taste some more the texture of the seed, seed of the strawberry. Yeah. I mean, it's the sort of flavor that you will taste naturally in strawberry, right? Solpa huli rate, solpa seed rate. Solpa seeds rate, small, small seeds. Mm, very nice. Color ashte barate, strawberry ali ashte barate, ashte. And then that cashew gelato that's made with the cashew nut butter. Yes. That they extract naturally out here. The nuts that I'm tasting, I tasted this. Pistachio. The back I tasted the pistachio. That intense flavor of the nut, the toasted nuts. So under the texture is because of the oils in the nuts. Oh. Wonderful. And what's also a nice touch here is that in a cup you can order two flavors. Yeah. So you can have the best of two worlds for the price of one. <laughs> huh? You know, what's also nice about tasting a gelato is that sometimes when it comes to tasting an ice cream, because it's much colder than gelato, it can numb your taste but it can numb your tongue a bit. But out here, the temperature of this gelato is such that it's a sort that readily dissolves. So you can really register the flavor of that ice cream rather readily. I have another shoot in the next half an hour. But these gelatos are the sort that compel you to linger over them a bit longer. Mm. The ice creams are of course interesting, but what I find most heartening about churn is their approach to making these ice creams. They want to use only natural flavors, ingredients that are in the prime of the season. Nothing I'm told comes into churn in a packet. I think the only thing that comes in a packet here is probably the milk and the gulkan that they fly in from the north. And even there, the gulkan is a sort that is made without any color. So the approach here is to keep things as natural as they can. So for instance, they make their own nut butters, whether it's the pistachio butter, the cashew butter. They even make their own Nutella, such is the commitment to doing things here the natural way. There's a tender coconut ice cream that's currently being worked on. The easiest thing for them would be to get a tetra pack with some coconut milk and make the ice cream with it. But they've not chosen to do that. Somebody's taken the effort out there to chop a coconut, to cut it, to grate it, and then extract the coconut milk out of it, which will then go into the making of the tender coconut ice cream. And I think that commitment and passion to their craft definitely reflects in all the flavors that I've tasted here. So if you want to taste some ice cream that's really special, that's artisanal, that's made with a whole lot of love, attention and care, definitely find your way to churn artisanal ice creams here in RMV second stage. I hope you've enjoyed this delicious dessert of an episode. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. Make the bill. Please don't make the bill. No, there's no formality. Please don't be. Whatever I tasted, no? So that and plus the three cups, five cups and all. No, no, charge me everything that I had. No, no, please don't do that. Just charge me. Bill, you want bill. No. I've given you bill. Discount is my problem. No, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I will come, I'll sit with the two of you and we'll all three sit and I'll have an ice cream. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating! <laughs>